Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this dramatic black eyeshadow look with the 18CT Matte Essentials Palette by Morphe. If you guys would like for me to use certain colors, please let me know down in the comments below. Okay ladies, so I'm going to be using this light shade of gray and as you guys can see, I have a concealer base right under. I'm using the ColourPop concealer and I didn't set it only so I can get the best pigment out of this eyeshadow. Meanwhile, I blend this eyeshadow you guys because you know it takes some time. I'm going to tell you guys how I got inspired to create this crazy dramatic eyeshadow. So I don't know if you guys have seen the movie The Black Swan before. It's super old. I remember watching this movie when I was younger. So for whatever reason, it just like popped up in my head. And I was like, all right, let me look at the makeup that they used for this movie. And this is what I came up with. Okay, let me not get carried away. Back to the tutorial. I'm going to be going in with this darker shade of gray, you guys. And I'm just going to be blending this out right under my crease. As you guys can see, I'm keeping it in the same area. And I'm not going to go above the first shade that we used because we don't want to cover that up. This is something that really bugs me about this palette. It starts to come on very patchy, you guys. Luckily, we are going to be cropping this out with some concealer. So it's going to look clean and sharp. So don't worry if you guys see any like patches on here. It is going to get fixed. But that's the one thing I did not like about this palette. What do you guys think of this style of my makeup tutorials? Let me know in the comments below because I need you guys' opinion. I need to know if these videos are good enough for you guys to understand what I'm doing or if I need to do something else. Please let me know down below. But anyways... Next, we're going to be going in with the first brush that we used, the first color. We are not going to add any shade to it. We are just going to blend with whatever product the brush already has. Eyeshadow like this, you guys, is literally the definition of trust the process. It gets messy. It looks ugly at first. But when you get your results, oh my god, it is bomb. Next, we're going to be going in with this very dark black eyeshadow. As you guys can see, I'm only keeping this strictly on my crease and maybe even on my lid. But do not cover up the other shades that we used above. We are also going to be dragging this dark shade all the way to the outer corner as well. Next, I'm going to be going in with this eye makeup remover by Neutrogena and I'm just going to be cutting out this area just to clean it up. And this pointy Q-tip, you guys, is available on my website if you guys want to purchase it. These Q-tips are the bomb for these types of looks because it has that sharp edge that you can use as you guys can see how I'm cutting that crease. It is so bomb. Anyways, make sure you clean up this whole area because we're going to be using some concealer right on top. You guys are going to laugh. I'm struggling to stay on the frame so you guys can see me do my makeup because it is so hard to not be looking at the camera to see if I'm in the frame as I'm filming and doing this. But anyways, <laughs> just make sure you get every single area on that eye, you guys. Clean out all the gray that you have on there. As you guys can see, I'm trying very hard not to mess that up. I almost did. And now I'm going in with the ColourPop Concealer just to cut that crease. And it's going to look even more intense this way, you guys. I always like to clean the area and then apply concealer. And it makes it so much better. Next, I'm going to be going in with a beauty sponge after I cut my crease. And you guys, this is just to set this area and have a smooth canvas before we apply any other eyeshadow, okay? You guys can purchase this on my website. The link is below in the description. See, I told you guys I keep getting out of the frame. But anyways, I'm going in with this white eyeshadow color. And I swear to God, you guys, this color disappointed me so much. Because look at how it's coming on. I keep switching brushes, you guys, because it was coming on so patchy and ugly and powdery. But anyways, now I'm going back in with the first light gray shade that we used. And then I'm going in with the second gray shade that we used. And for the third one, I'm going in with the darkest black that we have on this palette. And this is just to create the same effect that we did at the top, but on the bottom. And like I said, you do need to trust the process because this gets so messy, especially when doing very dramatic looks. But yeah, you guys, we are going to be cleaning this out with a Q-tip and some makeup remover oil. 
as you guys can see, I'm doing that right here. I'm not in the frame again. <laughs> and we're going to go upwards. Just make sure not to mess it up, you guys. Try to use your waterline as a guideline. With the same Q-tip, you can also just use it around your face, right where we have all these little gray areas that we left at the bottom, just to clear it out of the way. Now I'm going in with this shimmery shade, you guys, and I'm just going to be applying this on the top. I used a different palette, though. I used a 35L Ultra Lavender Palette by Morphe. Now, to apply some glitter, I'm going to be using this glue from my website. The link is down below in the description if you guys want to purchase it. It is not rough on your eyes. And we're going to be applying the glitter little by little. And now I'm going to be doing some eyeliner and I'm going to be putting on some eyelashes and also doing my other eye off camera. And this is the finishing look, you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you guys have any suggestions of certain colors you want me to use, please let me know down below. Also, you guys, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment gray down below if you guys watch this video all the way through so that I know that you're a real one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, bye!